Okay, so surreal numbers are insanely complicated and we don't really understand them, but we tried hard and this is what we came up with. In 1969, Conway invented surreal numbers. Surreal number system contains the real numbers, the infinite numbers, and the infinitesimal numbers, which are numbers that are extremely small but are still larger than zero. For example, like 0 0.0000, etc. 1. Every real number is surrounded by surreal numbers, which are closer to that particular real number than any other real number is. This can be written as a form. A form is made up of a left set and a right set, and is written as shown. For example, bracket 1 line bracket equals 2 is the simplest number greater than 1, and bracket line 0 bracket equals minus 1 is the simplest number less than 0. There are three main rules of surreal numbers. The construction rule is that each element in R must be greater than each element in L, and they must not share any of the same elements. The equivalence rule is that two forms are forms of the same number if they are equal, so X and Y are the same number if they are equal to each other, which seems quite straightforward. The comparison rule is that if X equals bracket X left line X right bracket, and y equals bracket y left line y right bracket. Every element in x left must be smaller than every single element in the whole of y, and every element in y right must be larger than every element in the whole of x, and this is a bit more complicated. If the construction rule that each element of L must be less than each element of R is ignored, a more general class is produced. This class can be used, for example, to see who might win during a game, and shows that there are connections between sur surreal numbers and popular recreational games. These connections are found in games which are completely dependent on the moves that each player chooses to make, where there are only two players, where there are no hidden information, like cards, where the players alternate taking turns, and where there is a definite end to the game. For example, um, games like chess or go which is a board game that's popular in China Korea and Japan and Conway in fact first started to investigate surreal numbers when he was investigating the end game which is the final stage of go so that's surreal numbers